What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know I've been gone for a couple of days. I had some stuff to take care of. Plus, it's been busy season at the shop. So, I'm going to try to dish out videos maybe two or three times a week. If time allows me to do more, then I will do that. So, I'm not sure what days I'm going to be doing them yet. Mostly probably on my days off, which is Tuesday and Wednesday. But I'll try to put them out sometime during the week. Just... I'm trying to stick to a schedule, but it's kind of hard right now. So, today's video, I was reading up on some stuff about prisons and all that. And I went ahead and uh, made a little slideshow. Today's video is going to be about the top 10, in my opinion, dangerous prisons that I came across while reading. Trying to do something new. Maybe... You guys like it, maybe you won't, but I found it very interesting. I figured I'd make a video and share it with you guys. Hope you enjoy, and let's drop right into it. Alright, first one on the list is San Quentin Prison. This was established in 1852 and is the oldest prison in the state of California. Although the prison has a gas chamber, the only executions performed there are by lethal injection. Violence is a continual issue at San Quentin, even with a large staff of guards. A particular incident occurred in February 2006 when some racially motivated attacks resulted in injuries of 100 inmates. The riot started shortly before 8.45 a.m. in a dining hall that serves new inmates. It involved Latinos, who prison officials believe are associated with Norteños, gang fighting with a group of black prisoners. In all... About 400 inmates were in the dining halls, and an estimated 86 were involved in the fighting. Additionally, two inmates were killed. The prison is known for its poor conditions, and a 2005 report stated that it's our opinion that it's dangerous to house people there. Let's see 60 days in since the people there. How about that? Bang Quang Prison. This prison is located in Bangkok, Thailand, and is nicknamed the Bangkok Hilton. What? <laughs> However, it is far from being a place that anyone would want to stay. The prison is known for routine torture of its inmates. Damn. All prisoners are required to wear leg irons for the first three months of their sentences. Death row inmates were required to have their leg irons permanently welded on. What? Although this practice ended in 2013. Inmates are crammed into small cells, and death row inmates are often given as little as two hours notice before they are dragged off to their execution. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't do my time there. Damn. What? <laughs> Damn. That is wild as shit. Dang. Two hours notice? Jeez. Rikers Island, you know where this is at, in New York, and has a legacy of prisoner violence. A man named John Reyes, who was a guard at the prison in 1991, mentioned being daily afraid because of the beatings and murders he witnessed there. Because of the prison's history of violence, it is now one of the strictest prisons in the world. Several reform actions at the prison have helped reduce the number of stabbings a year down from 1,000 to 70. What? A thousand to seventy? Jesus. And from what I've been reading, there are plans in place to actually shut it down for good. Yeah, I heard a lot about this prison. I, I didn't want to be there either. I know that. <laughs> Jesus. Alcatraz. This is a famous prison, y'all. Located off of, what is it, off of San Francisco, California, it has been shut down for many years. How, it, excuse me guys, it has some of the most dangerous criminals in history. One of the most famous prisoners was Al Scarface Capone. The prison was known for his violent escape attempts, the most notorious being the escape attempt known as the Battle of Alcatraz in May 1946. There were also another escape attempt on June 11, 1962. Inmates Frank Morris, John Anglin, and his brother Clarence Anglin. The three men were able to escape from their cells and leave the island in a makeshift raft. 
Where they reach the land is unknown. There's actually a movie about that. I don't know if y'all have seen that. It's a pretty good movie. It's called Escape from Alcatraz. But they closed its doors on March 21st, 1963. ADX Florence Supermax from FBOP, the Federal Bureau of Prisons. It's in Colorado and it's designed to hold the worst prisoners, many in near round the clock solita solitary confinement. Solitary confinement. The institution is unofficially known as ADX Florence or the Alcatraz of the Rockies. It houses about 400 male inmates, each assigned to one of the six security levels. It is designed for 490 inmates, but has never become full. The facility is best known for housing inmates who have been deemed too dangerous, too high profile, or too great a national security risk for even a maximum security uh, prison. Jeez. Inmates spend 23 hours a day locked in their cells and are escorted by a minimum of three officers for their five hours of private recreation per week. Jeez. That sucks. <laughs> La Sante Prison. I think I said that night. I think I said that right. It's in Paris, France, and the prison is known as such a brutal place that many prisoners have taken their own lives over serving their sentence there. Damn. 1999 saw the suicides of 124 prisoners. You sure it's suicide? I mean, it might be some guards getting up in there. I don't know. The violence in the prison is so pervasive that the prisoners are only out of their cells for four hours out of the day. Damn. The prison system also creates a hi I don't know that word. Also creates a hierarchy structure that makes some prisoners more powerful than others and the conditions worse for the weaker prisoners. So people who got it made up in there, they, they pretty much up there. Paying people off, that's what they're doing. Guarantee it. You gotta have money to do that. <clears throat> I don't know how to pronounce this one. I think it's DR Baker Prison. It's in Turkey though. Um, but it's been known to be notoriously inhumane. One of the dark spots of the prison's past for which it has been known is incarcerating children for lifelong sentences. What? Why? The violent nature of the prison seems to be more from the side of the prison guards than the prisoners themselves. There you go. Corruption. That's what's going on. Corruption. In 1996, an incident occurred where guards and police beat prisoners severely. This incident resulted... In the death of 10 prisoners and the injuries of 23. You better not be beating on no children, man. What is this at? Turkey? No. They think we got it bad over here. Jeez. This is La Sabineta Prison. I can't pronounce it. <laughs> but it's located in Venezuela. South America. The facilities of the prison are designed to house 15,000 prisoners, but actually houses 25,000. Oh, so that's overcrowded. Dang. The prison is greatly understaffed with approximately one guard for every 150 inmates. That's how it was at the place I was at. There was like 150 people in my unit. There was one guard, one CO. Anyhow. The prison is known for its violent incidents. A violent gun battle in 1994 resulted in the death of 108 prisoners. Additionally, 196 prisoners were killed and 624 wounded because of jail violence in 1995. That's what them MS-13 guys are, ain't it? Venezuela? Or is that uh, El Salvador? I think it's El Salvador. Tadmore Prison. This is a military prison in, I think it was at Palm, Palmyra, Syria. And it's known as one of the most oppressive prisons for a prisoner to serve time in the world. Amnesty International has stated that every aspect of it was designed to dehumanize its inhabitants. The most notorious event in the prison's history was in June 1980. President Hafiz, Hafiz Al-Assad, I don't know, 
survived an attack on his life by the Muslim Brotherhood. It was reported that he ordered soldiers to execute every prisoner in sight in retaliation for the attack. Damn. Tadmore was closed down in 2001, but it reopened in 2011. It is no less brutal today. The president went hard, man. He said, kill every prisoner. Should I take my life? Man. Ugh. And the most dangerous prison belongs in Brazil, South America. I think it's Carandiru Penitentiary. It's the most violent and deadly prison in the world. At its peak, it was South America's largest penitentiary, housing over 8,000 inmates. In 1992, it was the site of the Carandiru Massacre, which was a violent prison massacre <clears throat> that occurred when 102 inmates were shot dead. Mm. The prison is also known for the terrible health pro- its terrible health problems. Sorry, y'all. In the prison's health wing, nearly one in five inmates have been diagnosed with HIV. Ugh. The prison was demolished on December 8th, 2002. One block was left intact to be used as a museum. Why? Tear it all down. Jesus. Get rid of it. Worst prison in the world. Anyhow, that's uh, top 10 prison dangerous prisons, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you'd like to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments below. Or if there's any other ideas that you can guys throw at me. Um, I'm still going to be doing like my regular videos. I got some coming up actually the next day or two. Since I'm a tattoo artist, why not compare a prison tattoo machine with, uh, with what I use? So I'm going to be building a tattoo machine from scratch that you can probably make at home. I'll show you how to do that, and I'll also show you what machines I have, or well, my main machine, and show them side by side, see what the differences are. So be on the lookout for that. Um, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys on the next video.